Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, a Malaysian man with a mental disability lost a final legal appeal Tuesday against his death sentence in Singapore and faces execution soon, a lawyer and rights activist said. Nagin K. Darmalingam has been on death row since 2010 for trying to smuggle less than 43 grams, 1. 5 ounces, of heroin into Singapore. At an earlier court hearing, his IQ was revealed to be 69, a level internationally recognized as an intellectual disability, but the court ruled Nagin Thran knew what he was doing by violating Singapore's harsh anti-drug laws. M. Ravi, a lawyer assisting the case, wrote on Facebook that Singapore's top court ruled that Nagin Thran's appeal was an abuse of process and that international law does not apply. Nagin Thran, who is mentally disabled, is due to be hanged possibly in the next few days, he said. UK based rights group Reprieve said Nagin Thran faces imminent execution unless he receives a pardon from Singapore President Halim Yaakob. The Singaporean government has made clear its commitment to champion the rights of persons with disabilities. Allowing this travesty of justice to take place would fly in the face of the Sepramises, Reprieve Director Maya Foa said. We urge President Halima Yaakob to listen to the cries for mercy within Singapore and around the world, from the United Nations to global business leaders, and spare it life of tea. Anyone found with over 15 grams, 0. 0.5 ounces, of heroin faces the death sentence in Singapore, although judges can reduce this to life in prison at their discretion. Nagin Thurin was sentenced to death in 2010 and other attempts to reduce his sentence to life in prison or receive a presidential pardon failed. Malaysia's leader, European Union representatives and global figures such as British business magnate Richard Branson have called for Nagin Thurin's life to be spared and used the case to advocate for ending capital punishment. Singapore's Home Affairs Ministry has responded that the country has a zero-tolerance stance against illicit drugs and that the death penalty has been made clear at its borders.